such a pussy cat at low speed. You would never know what it's capable of. It's awesome. Well, good morning, YouTubers. So today is the Hayabusa demo day. However, look at the weather. But here we are. Suzuki 2021 Hayabusa. Of course, I forgot it's got a quick shifter. So, initial impressions. It actually feels quite uh, feels quite nimble. Um, I'm six foot four, and it feels yeah, it is a bit cramped. Uh, I'm not going to lie. And you are sitting quite uh, you are sitting quite way forward with your uh, your hips your hips quite at quite an acute angle. Um, but you know, you get used to all these riding positions, and it's a, it's a good stretch the bars in for me. I've got pretty long arms. We'll see how we go. Can we get a view in the mirror, in the window? Yeah. Looks good. It looks good. Yes. This is one of those test rides where you must not break it. So yeah, it's apparently this is a Suzuki, yeah. This is a Suzuki press bike. Um, it seems. So I'm reliably informed. All of 32 miles it's done. Uh, yeah. Indicator seems to be in a slightly different position. So the tyres aren't even uh, the tyres aren't even scrubbed in properly yet. Where can we go? Can we go down here? No, can't. But it's very flexible. Um, very smooth. Very smooth. So on this video, I'm not going to go through all the. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the specs because we already know what they all are. Um, with this new fancy, uh, fancy Brembo brakes and all the power it's got. Um, it's an absolute missile, of course. But uh, yeah, I was looking for. Personally, I'm looking for maybe one bike that can do it all. Um, as you'll have seen, the Sprint GT video, uh, obviously with the V Strom and the 750. So analog, uh, analog Speedo, which is. Uh, yeah, you must better you must better get a digital version of it down on the uh, down on the display there somewhere. I would have thought. Uh, I'm not too sure how we go about doing that. To be honest, that's the only thing about these newer bikes, all these gadgets and gizmos. It's knowing what to. Uh, how do we get into power mode one? No, I don't want the traction control. That's not what I want to do. So you end up messing around, looking down at the dash, messing around because I don't really know what I'm doing with it, rather than uh, actually. Okay, that's the trip. There you go. So 14 volts, 45 miles to gallon, 125 mile range, 33 miles, there you go. So a beautiful day today, Danny Cooper. It really is, it's uh, it's lovely. Uh, mirrors are good. Mirrors are good, bit of your bit of your elbows in there, probably just need a bit of adjustment, but uh oh, the quick shift is very smooth, it's lovely. Oh, that's uh, an instant, uh, an instant 60. Yeah, it's one of those riding positions. I think that uh, if you're not used to it, then uh, it uh, it just takes a bit, of, takes a bit of used to having your having your hips tucked up so much, having your legs, having your legs quite uh, quite cramped. It's a bit like you crouch, you're having a poo. That's what it's, uh, that's what it feels like for me. It's not an uncomfortable position, I have to say. Oh, it's lovely. And I tell you what, there's absolutely no wind blast at all. Absolutely none. That, uh, that screen's perfect for me. By comparison to the, uh, the Sprint GT, it's, uh, certainly feels, it certainly feels lighter. It doesn't feel as top heavy. Um, riding position compared to the uh, ZZR 1400 that uh, uh, my dad had a few years ago that I was fortunate enough to be able to get a good a good ride on several times. It uh, yeah it's more more cramped a bit more cramped than that I have to say. I 
think it's one of those, it is just one of those riding positions I think you just get used to. Yeah, that actual handle's real nice. Certainly from the first couple of bends there anyway. This is one of those, and of course it's got bi-directional quick shift to this of course. And uh, yeah, there's not an awful lot of engine braking, which is a bit weird. Um, I think you can adjust that. Um, actually looking at it, it looks like it's actually turned off, um, which is a bit weird. I'm not too sure how you go in and adjust it, but uh, we'll have a look. We'll have a look in a little while. Um, if you press and hold the press and hold the select button, there you go. You get at the menu display here, so you can't actually go in here and uh, and select that while you're going along. Um, I can understand why, because you're kind of taking your taking your eyes off the road a little bit. Um, and certainly, one thing once you get used to the mode buttons and stuff, um, it's certainly easier to certainly easier to navigate once you once you get to learn your way around it. So, like I said, when I set off, you know, you tend to I think with a new bike, you tend to mess around with it a bit too much. EB off. Oh, there we go. That must be it there. So you press 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 the mode button just to, to confirm that, and you can turn that on and off. There we go. That's what that is. So so obviously it changes depending on what what user mode you're in. Engine braking. Yeah, I should have messed around with that. But never mind. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. You get you get used to it. There is there is some engine braking there, but uh, um, obviously you can adjust how much assistance you get. So there we go. So we're in fourth gear through town. It's very slight. Very, 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 very slight jerking this on off the throttle, but it's nothing. It's nothing major at all. I mean, I think, given it's, uh, given the fueling in general, it actually feels very, very smooth, and the gearbox is lovely. Whoa, warp speed, Mr. Sulu. Yeah, it's not much of engine braking. I think we adjust that. But yeah, we've only done, it's only done 32 miles, so I need to be careful of the, uh, of the tyres as well. Well, oh, it's not bad this, you know. It's not bad at all. So the seat itself, um, sitting here, it's actually, it's not uncomfortable. Let's have a little overtake, shall we? Wow. Yeah, that's just instant. No hesitancy there whatsoever. Yeah, I think we'll uh, have a little, a little saunter to St Andrews. I think. Should we? Uh, no, I won't go just yet. So we're actually behind a Tesla. Who isn't exactly hanging around? You know, it's another road better than I do. I'm not. Uh, Not too au fait with the roads around here, I have to say. It's nice, this. Quite nice. Should we go? Yeah, we'll go. It's epic. Absolutely epic. How fast do you want to go, I think, is the uh, order of the day. Because it will deliver it, and then some. Yeah, it's weird, the engine braking, it literally is, it's non-existent, so I think, you'd, I think I'd rather probably turn that back on again, I think. Um, you know, I mean, I've not, uh, I've not spent a lot of time studying the specs on this, I have to say, so this is, this is very much a kind of a, a, ride, a ride by the seat of the pants. Brakes aren't quite as sharp as I would have uh, I would have liked. I might try adjusting the span adjuster actually. See if that's. I prefer the uh, yeah. I prefer the front brake to have a bit more uh, a bit more initial bite. They're not uh, they're not bad. And of course the bike has only only done 30, 30 odd miles. So it's not like the brakes are even. Uh, it's not even like the brakes are actually even bedded in yet. So and uh, certainly the uh, reviews suggest that uh, they're they're very good. So. So here we go, what are we doing, what are we doing? Yeah, 30, 30, 35, uh, second gear, and the clutch just changed through the gearbox. Yeah, that's not bad. It's a very light gearbox as well, um, typical Suzuki. Uh, very light, nice positive, nice positive action. Uh, yeah, the, 
seating position doesn't feel quite so cramped now, so um, you know you do find you you do find you kind of get you do get used to it. Ah, fifty. Yeah, the uh, <coughs> the speedo being analog is a nice is a nice touch to the old uh, to the old booster. Um, like I say, I've never I've never ridden the old one, but I think well, unless anyone. Anyway, we'll know that's ridden the old one. That, uh, or, or certainly any any recent Suzuki. Most of them have now got digital uh, digital LCD dash, like the uh, like my GSX S 750. Um, I think I would have quite liked to have seen that on here. Um, I'm sure there must be a way you can get to see the speed in digital in digital form, but um, down the bottom. But maybe they don't feel you need it with the analog uh, with the analog speedo. A whole 40 miles. Yeah, I don't see it. Maybe you can't. But yeah, just takes a bit of getting used to. Once you get to learn where your eyes are supposed to be looking, it's like it's like everything, is it? But it feels very it feels very light and nimble actually, you know. I mean for a for a big for a big bike, I mean it's not exactly a small it's not a small lump by any means. I really hope I haven't left my keys. Oh, I'll cut through. Wind on, wind on, torque and power is just epic, absolutely epic. Yeah, mirrors, mirrors are good. They're kind of down, quite a low way down. Um, you are looking down to them rather than kind of at eye level, um, but they're not bad. Not bad. They seem to be pretty clear. And the suspensions, uh, I can confirm now. The suspension is very, very good. Actually, it's. Uh, it's good for these. It's good for these bumpy. It's good for these bumpy roads. Um, I would say that probably on bumpier surface it gets a little bit chattery. Um, but yeah, I mean, unless you're unless you're on an adventure tourer, you're not going to. Uh, unless you're on an adventure tourer, you're not going to get that soft, that soft floaty feeling. I don't think. But generally speaking, it's actually. It's actually pretty good. Of course, this is the road into this is the road into St Andrews, so no wonder it's busy. So I'm noticing, I'm noticing with my leg, leg down there, just uh, just as you pull up to stop, that uh, you kind of you're kind of catching the fairing a little bit. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad, but just one of those things you notice when you uh, when you pull up and stop. If you're a bit legs a bit close to the bike, you're. Uh, you're dragging it on the fairing, but it's not. A, it really isn't an issue, to be honest. I think we'll, uh, yeah. Second. Third. And for a year, yeah. We'll keep our indicators going, and we'll be very careful of anyone doing something stupid like pulling out. Ah, uh, road works. It's roadworks. I'm going to nip right to the front because I can do that. Lovely. <coughs> and I guess we'll have to wait. Cue interlude music. So, yeah, it's it's all right. As you can see, this this is a silver. This is the silver one. I actually really, uh, actually really quite like the colour. It uh, obviously you can see there it's sparkling in the sunshine. Um, it's only about uh, three degrees today. Uh, although it says the air temperature is seven, but I'm not sure if that's entirely accurate. It probably is, to be honest. But um, this, there was snow on the drive this morning, as you saw when I when I left the house. So it wasn't really uh, it wasn't really an option to uh, to ride down here today on the bike, unfortunately. Um, that was what I was really hoping for. Uh, yeah, I think the only thing with these is that uh, you certainly want to have the bike set up. I think once you've once you've had it a longer term, you would you would set it up and you would play around with it and get it to where you want it. Um, now whether it keeps the settings when you turn it off and then turn it back on again, I don't know. You would hope so. Um, that's one of the things that bugged me about the uh, about the S thousand R. You know, you kind of go and fiddle around with bits and pieces as as you see fit, but um, at least it did keep the settings when you were. Uh, 
it did keep the settings when you finished with it. Um, you turn it back on again, it, uh, it remembered it remembered where you were. But, uh, actually, no, it's just got these little, uh, these little illuminated illuminated digits, um, which is quite which is quite neat. Yeah, I want user mode one. A mode. There we go. Power one. Traction control. Oh no, we don't trash troll off. We'll have something there, I think. Five, that do. I guess that's now it's flashed. I guess that's it. Means it's ready. So yeah, it makes a lovely. Uh, this is a big. This is a long light. This look. So when you turn it on, oh, you turn it off. You get a little Suzuki little sign. You turn it back on again. Lovely. Service in 559 miles. An easy start, of course. Awesome. Yeah, you may as well mess around while you're sitting at the traffic lights doing nothing. And a fuel gauge, which is always handy. Must be time to go. Here we go. And away we go again. Ooh! That actually wasn't too bad. Yeah, initial pump absorption is actually pretty good. Comfort's definitely getting better. Ooh, nice smell of napalm in the morning. Well, okay, it's it's actually black tar, but it's a shame it's not a de-restricted bit of road, really, isn't it? And then you can just uh, you just go for it. But hey, and I guess that's uh, you know that's a contentious issue, isn't it? Having having a bike like this and uh, having a bike like this with this much power, how much of it can you actually realistically use? So this, my friends, is St Andrews. It is a long time since I've been down here. Can't get used to the uh, bi-directional quick shifter. That's uh, it's a bit weird. Changes out of the box with that to, without using the clutch. Good morning, and very pleasant it is too. Yeah, I need to try and find an open bit of road because this is—I uh, don't really want to be going through it, town. If I can possibly help it, um, town centre. Mm. I don't know this area very well at all. Still, it wouldn't be a thorough review without riding it through town, would it? And this is my personal review, of course. All the uh, all the detailed professional. Professional reviewers have done all the, done all their bits. This is my uh, this is my own little play, and uh, and Strother Crail. Yeah, that's going Strother and Quail on the Hayabusa. Where would be a better place to go than go to Crail? I mean, that is the uh, that is the Scottish drag strip, of course. So that would actually make perfect sense, wouldn't it? I'd like to say that uh, this. Uh, Impromptu detour to Cryo has uh, was 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 perfectly planned um, before I came on this uh, came on my own little tour here, but unfortunately that's not the case. I can't take credit for it. Yeah, I like this. It's nice. Um, I do I do like the fact that uh, you know it's a it's a heavy bike, but it doesn't actually feel it when it's moving. It's uh, you know it's really quite it's really quite nimble. <coughs> Oh, that's neutral. There we go. Oh, I think a bit of, a bit of local sightseeing around, uh, around St Andrews. St Andrews Castle. Oh, I've never been around here. I would just like to say. You couldn't get a more uh, a, oh, go on, Bennett. Oh. You couldn't get a larger contrast, could you? Really, the home of golf and uh, and and the, and the latest uh, hyper sports bike. Can we not just go straight on? Surely we can. Yeah. Oh, no, maybe not. That was crow that way. See, 
it really helps to know where you're going. Let's turn around. Here we go. Here's a round. Here's a mini roundabout. Let's see if I can not drop it in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the town centre. Uh, yeah, it's 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 not. Actually, the balance of the bike is actually not too bad. Um, just trying to get my knees out of the way. Let's try that again. So the time is 10:20. Um, of course, this clock. Uh, but that's not actually true. It must be. Uh, it must be 11:20. Because the demo was booked for 11 o'clock. So um, not too sure what's going on this roundabout, but we'll go this way. Beaking. Not many of them kicking around these days. Also a very good bike, underrated. Big tank though, it never fitted my uh, my lanky legs unfortunately. The cutouts on the tank just uh, dug in at the side of my thigh, so I never uh, never went down that route unfortunately. No, she's very smooth. She's very, very smooth. Need to try and find the twisty bit of road because this town riding is garbage. So the question remains: How long could I actually sit and ride this for? That's the question, which still actually remains unanswered. Honest answer: I don't know. I don't know how long I could sit and ride this for. Probably a tank, probably a tank range full, I would imagine. Um, it's not. Once you get used to the riding position and being a bit cramped up again, it's not too, it's not too bad. Holy hell! It's just instant drive, instant instant drive, so smooth. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, <coughs> that's pretty quick. And that's not even full throttle, but it is on that is, but it is on full power. Hang on a minute, I didn't say traction control at one. Oh well, what the hell? Hey, that's how we do things on this channel. That's how we do things on Twisted Go. We don't mess around with traction control and all that crap. Full power, full power, TC on one. That's what we want. That's what we want. Um, yeah, it's nice to have. Let's just hope I don't uh, high side myself out the seat, of course, that would be, uh, yeah. Perhaps egg on face. Are we? Are you going? Hello? Yeah. See? You just never know, do you? You just never, never know. Quick shift is lovely. Nice and smooth. The castle, of course. Where did it go down there? Yeah, don't know. Guess we found some decent, uh, decent bit of road. I'm assuming it's 60 along here. I didn't notice it wasn't. It's just effortless speed. Absolutely, oh, I'm going to squeeze past here. Absolutely effortless progress. Absolutely effortless. I do like the wind protection. It's very, very good. Um, the bike itself is really deceptive. Um, you can be going along thinking you're doing 60, but uh, we're well, actually, yeah, we're not doing too bad at the minute. But I wouldn't want to. Uh, I don't know these roads that well, so I'm not going to, uh, not going to tempt fate, so to speak. Fairmont Hotel. But yeah, mirrors are good. They're nice and solid. Uh, very stable. Good visibility. No issues at all. Uh, I've mentioned the brakes. What are you doing? Off I want to get run over. Gee whiz. It's, uh, it's a beast. It's a beast. So before, actually before this, I uh, well, see that along here, this suspension, it's, it's really is. It's very supple. Very supple. It's soaking, it's soaking up all these bumps. No problem at all. It's just when you start getting these pock, pock holed, pock marked bits of road that uh, 
you know you find it's uh, it's maybe just a little bit a little bit jittery juddery jittery yeah What size is that hole? Mind you, you need a bit of scrambler to get through that one. This is more like it. This is more like it. We like this. We like this. Hopefully, the tyres will fit it in by the time we, uh, by the time we get back. Beautiful. So, we'll just head to Crail. I've never actually been there either, so. Uh, yeah, there's not an awful lot of engine braking, so I know I've mentioned that already. Oh, yeah, these, yeah, that's where it's a bit bumpy there. Yeah, it's not the smoothest quick shifter, to be fair. Um, I would say I don't want to, uh, don't like to speak bad of Suzuki, but it's not, it's not bad. It's not bad, but I wouldn't say that it's any better than the Translogic on my 750. Um, if I'm being brutally honest, um, and I always like to think that uh, my channel is honest. Um, I will always give my own humble opinion, and it is only my opinion, of course. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the uh, about the blipper, about the bi-directional bit. I think I'd rather just use it going up and do it, and do it have a do it manually going down. It's always nice to. Uh, Always nice to go down. <coughs> yeah, still it's only uh, it's a relatively uh, it is a low mileage bike, so uh, I dare say everything. Obviously, everything still needs to be bedded in, uh, brakes included. Um, and it was it was cold when I set off. They certainly feel a bit sharper now. But, uh, we'll find somewhere to uh, find somewhere to jump off and have a little uh, and have a little wander around. Yeah, never. The, uh, I did actually finish saying what I was going to say earlier, but um, <clears throat> yeah, before I before I booked this, um, I wasn't aware about the new GSX S thousand coming out for uh, coming out. So that's that's. Oh, there we go. I'll just squeeze past here. Holy mackerel! It's just hyperdrive, warp speed. I've lost contact, sir. What? Hard to drive smooth it is. Yeah, I still haven't finished what I was going to say. When I booked the demo for this, I didn't realise that the uh, GSX S1000 was uh, the new one was getting released. So uh, a bit of hesitancy there, going at that corner. Mine just probably more my fault than uh, anything else not knowing the road. Um, try and start to concentrate a bit more rather than chatting rubbish. But yeah, when I booked, when I booked the, uh, I still haven't done it. When I booked this, uh, when I booked this test ride, I wasn't aware of the GSX S1000 coming out, and uh, you know, certainly I'm still, I'm still on the uh, the thought process that maybe one one bike to do it all um, would be would be good. Uh, what that is or will be, who knows? Who knows? Although it's nice to have the, uh, it's nice to have the variety. So I've just changed down three gears there, and I've, only, I've barely slowed down at all. That's uh, yeah, that's that's quick. <laughs> that is seriously rapid. Seriously, seriously rapid. Although I don't know what to, I don't know what anyone's actually going to. Uh, what would anybody actually expect? Other than it to be absolutely insanely fast in a straight line. I'm actually more, to be honest. I mean, I knew it was going to be quick, obviously, but uh, I'm actually seriously impressed with the uh, with the handling. It's. You know, obviously it's not a, it's not a tourer. It's a, it's a hyper sports bike. Uh, in fact, actually, I was chatting with the uh, chatting with the shop about that very thing. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a tourer as such. Maybe Suzuki have missed a trick not putting uh, not being not being given the uh, option for for hard luggage for it. Um, uh, he said that uh, at the launch uh, at the training course, he asked whether or not uh, it comes with the luggage, and there was a basically just a blanket no. Uh, anyone that's aware of the high booster history will know that uh, the uh, the first generation ones they uh, you know didn't come with luggage and uh, people started fitting luggage to them and uh, as the subframe was a bit of a 
uh, the exhaust helped as a supporting member with the subframe, the uh, people were putting luggage on it and the rear subframes were snapping. Uh, that's going back a little while. Then the Gen 2, the Gen 2 booster was uh, obviously came out and uh, you know I believe that uh, you could actually get um, you could actually get luggage fitted to that. Um, I'm not sure if it was, a, I don't think it was a Suzuki aftermarket option um, but at least it was beefed up a little bit so you could actually fit it if you wanted to. Um, as for this I don't believe there is currently anything on the market for it yet that's been developed um, but uh, that's not to say that perhaps you couldn't in the future. Scotland's secret bunker. Well, well, we're here. Oh, well, that's fine. That's worked out right, isn't it? I couldn't tell you where the drag strip is because I've never been there. Uh, tires feel good. They're uh, Bridgestone uh, S22s. Feel very sure footed, very planted. Um, I've got 21s of the 750 and I can't reform them to be honest. I would say, if anything, they may be a little bit vague, um, but that is being super critical. Yeah, no idea where the. Uh... Yeah, you can come out, mate, before you reverse into me. Not too much battery left, but we're all right. Now you certainly get the. Uh, you certainly get people looking at this bike. It's one of those bikes that. Uh, it's certainly noticeable. I need to keep an eye on the time, actually, as well. I only got this, uh, actually only got this on demo for an hour. Um, I've got about half an hour now, so. Uh, let's head down to the beach. Never been here. Never been here, don't know where this goes. It's a dead end, but what the hell. Never been here. Oh. No vehicular access. Here he is coming down here. Can we get down here? Yeah. People give me some strange looks. You shouldn't be down here. Uh, hmm. I just want off camber road. Seventeen thousand pound bike. What could possibly go wrong? <coughs> I think. Yeah, we'll do a bit of a U-turn here. So here we go. Again, in true twist and go channel style how easy is it to move maneuver on a slope actually not too bad quite not too long we could have gone down there of course yep. first gear would help wouldn't it you know what this is the first time I've actually been nervous about dropping the bike which is very unusual for me Very unusual. I think we'll just stop here. No one's coming. We're still going. Yeah. Yeah, a bit of weight around the top end there. Here we go. What do we think of that then? <laughs> Lovely in the sun. It's uh, really, really nice. It's actually, you know, you do get used to the seating position. It's quite comfy. Um, this is actually the first silver one I've seen uh, in the flesh. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Uh, Brembo brakes, obviously, in black. Would have been nice if it had silver calipers, I think, in, in red, uh, with the red writing. So that would look good. Uh, yeah, it's lovely. It's not too bad at all. S22 is now scrubbed in. Laugh your, laugh your arse off. No, well, nearly. Not bad, that. Not bad at all. 
nice uh, nice detail. I do like the, I like the LED lights at the front here. The side lights are quite good. Uh, the shape of the mirrors is nice. Um, you've got the little Hayabusa logo there inside the headlight. That's quite neat. Multiple LED, which looks, I dare say, is very much the same as the new GSX S1000 will be, according to what to what I've seen on the uh, on the teaser videos um, due out the 26th of April. So yeah, nice big radiator, oil cooler. Um, I do like the silver colour. It really pops in the sunlight. Yeah, not much more to say. Grab rail. I'm assuming that's standard. Nice big seat. Yeah, pillion pegs. I think we're quite. I think they'll probably be quite high to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't know how. Um, not too sure how comfortable you would be on that. But nice big seat though. You just need something to lean against probably. And that's for exhaust as well. The elephant in the room. No one's going to keep them, are they? Yes, it's all about riding. Let's jump on and ride. Oh, I better check my car keys. What to do with them? Yeah, they are there. That's all right. Good morning. Well, hello. Anyway. <coughs> yeah, I like, the, uh, I like the graphic at the start. It's quite neat. It's got hill car control. I don't know how that, how that works. Well, I'm on a hill. Uh, now then, how do we get in the menu? Mode. Yes. PW. Don't know what that is. Touch control. Off. One, two, three, four. Do we press mode to select? Right, that's it done. Um, oh, that's right, if you go in the menu, you press and hold this set button and it brings up all the details. So you could change the brightness of the display, bright insert, hill hold. Um, do you press the hill hold is on? Okay. Exit. Yeah, it's quite intuitive. Brightness, user select, date, time. Date, time, let's adjust the date. No, 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 11. Yeah, we should probably look to get back. I'm assuming that is the time, is it? 11.35, yeah. Mode, select. So use the mode button as a select button. Oh, 11.38, select. That's it, done, done, done. Exit, done. Yeah, quite intuitive actually. Exit, done. Alright then, let's go. Oh, that's not a start button. That's the start button. What's that do? Oh, it's the cruise control. Oh, there we go. Cruise control set. Yeah, interesting. So I don't know how this hill hold, hill hold is supposed to work. Oh, there we go. You press the brake and it holds it. There you go, that's it. I'm, I'm in gear. Um, I'm not holding the bike forward. And uh, that's it, yeah. So I guess when you pull the clutch up. Yeah. That's it done. So it just stops you. That's quite neat. Yeah, with a bike this size, I can see actually now see why that would be useful. Um, and then you just pull away. Yeah, there we go. Easy as that. You just press the brake, and it's on. All right. So I guess we'll. Uh, I guess we'll head back then. It's a nice polka. Oh, I actually couldn't have asked for better weather. I was quite dubious about it after someone left the house. I thought, oh my god. Get to get to ride the latest superbike. And uh, I'd book it on a day where it's bloody snowing. But uh, there we go. Oh, and I managed to remember to turn off the indicators. That's good. Maybe I can concentrate a little bit more on, uh, on riding on the way back. Something nice about being on a sports bike again. I don't know. There's just there's just something about it. I think it's the ultimate that feeling of just uh, you know you're just on an absolute weapon, absolute weapon. So yeah, we'll head back to St Andrews, which is ten miles, really. Bombing. Yeah. Now I've settled in the seating position. It's not actually as, not actually as uncomfortable as uh, as it was initially um, on the outset. I love, the, I love the weather protection. It's uh, it's cracking. It really, really is. Have you seen me? No, you haven't. No, you haven't. It's good, yeah. It's good. 
and let's have it's a beast it's a weapon I think if you're underneath six foot it would be extremely extremely comfortable um, I think for me longer distance yeah it's not really designed for two up touring I don't think um, I think if I was uh, if I was looking for something two up two up touring um, this isn't obviously a two up touring bike um, but you'd have to take your pillin out with you for sure to see to see if it was going to be suitable um, I can't comment um, I can't comment on the pillion pad but it looks like a good size um, obviously comes with a grab rail um, I'm guessing that's standard I shall find out I thoroughly recommend a test ride if you can get one um, Cooper Motorcycles are the premier Suzuki dealership in the northeast of Scotland um, so I highly recommend uh, getting in touch with them if you fancy getting a test ride um, if you're up this neck of the woods I wonder what uh, Rev's just supposed to keep you to, never actually said I guess it's running now anyways, it's a Suzuki press bike it's ballistically quick but it's so easy to ride it really is, it's actually a, it's actually a pussycat oh yeah there you go, there's that, uh, there's that vibration It's a pussy cat, it really is. It's one of those uh, it's one of those cats that you can pet it and it's quite happy being petted, but you uh you coax it, you play around with it too much, and uh yeah it'll be quite happy to oh man. It'll be quite happy to turn around and bite you bite you and claw you. But at the same time, it's very well controlled by all the electronics. I mean, I certainly haven't tested them out by any means today. Um, far, far from it. Um, which just shows the performance that this bike has obviously got and the capability that it has. But uh, you're not, never going to find it on the road. You're just never going to find it. Um, and if you are, you're going to A, end up in a hedge, or B, an awful lot worse. It's lovely. And deceptive. Very, very deceptive. Out of this right here, but it's so flickable. You know, it's not like the, uh, it's not like the sprint. You know, you, uh, you know, that bike. You have to really, you have to really set it up and line it up for corners and lay it over. But this one, you can just flick it about like a normal sports bike. It's uh, for its size and weight, it's decent. Wine, sort of like a turbine. Yeah, these slower corners are actually all right. Doesn't feel cumbersome at all. Christ Almighty! <laughs> oh my word! Oh my giddy aunt! You forget how quick these bikes are. You really do. You really, really do. No doubt I'll give you a smile. On that bombshell, we'll catch you on the next video. Please do like and subscribe. Um, hit the subscribe button. Like this video. Um, yeah, and if you think about having a go with one of these or you think about buying one, I thoroughly recommend a test ride. It's, uh, it's pretty damn good, as was probably to be expected. Uh, but yeah, if you're over six foot, you're definitely going to need to ride it before you uh, before you buy one, I think, unless you already own one. Um, yeah, riding position seems to me to be very similar to how the uh, the original the original ones were. But uh, yeah, it's great. It really is. So yeah, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned with the channel. And uh, from the home of golf, uh, from my home of golf to yours, we'll uh, we'll catch you on the next one. We'll catch you soon.
a weapon. Oh man alive, this is awesome. Well they should buy one. There was always gonna be a danger. It was always gonna be a danger. But you've really got to watch your speed on this, it's so easy. It's effortless. Absolutely effortless. I really like it. But maybe it's a bit too cramped for touring. Maybe. And it is actually, it's not it's not that uncomfortable. Um yeah, I can feel my, my neck and that, but I think you need to be doing you need to be doing the speed to keep the weight off your wrists. Um but the wind protection, the weather protection, um is, is brilliant. It really is. Um there's no wind blast at all. I love it. I love it. P-A-R-T. Why? Because I gotta. It's nice. It's nice, I like it. <laughs> <laughs>